Shalom Aleichem So, first of all really, I wanted to bless you all Have a great Shabbat A wonderful Shabbat I was uh, dipping here in the mikveh And I enjoyed it It was nice and it was pleasant and I'm happy That's the first thing I wanted to wish you all To have the same happiness that I have in my heart and more is that a shame? For sure, for sure, much more than that. And I wanted to tell you something unique and special. I spoke with you a few times about this thing and now I think that I should write a book on that topic and I'm just um, thinking about a way how to do that. So I think I'm gonna write a book about um, who Hashem really is and uh, I mean to explain to us all who the Creator is what does it mean that He is the Creator what's the deal with the fact that He is the Almighty and now I'm thinking about a way how to do that and and something very nice is coming in my mind and it's that I'm going to describe to you all how exactly Hashem Barach is looking on all of the worlds in the same time and what's going to happen when He will decide to open our eyes as well to that to that endless um, point of view perspective that we will have that ability as well to experience all of the world in one time with him so like I told you a few times already that now a person like me for an example I can experience this area this is my experience this is what that I can see now great if now a person will stand here so he will have a different reality he will experience this world it's a little bit different than mine but it's different so every inch every breath of an hair of an air, hair um, is different than the other and we are all as individuals that are divided one from the other can experience only our zone but the creator that he gives us the life so he's the source of our life the source of our being we are like branches from the same tree so he is the tree of souls he is the tree itself so he experiences all of our points places zones in one in one in once in the same time at the same time and not only that, that he's experiencing what that we're experiencing completely. For him also, the world is not under the limitation of time. So for him, every moment is an eternal moment. So he's experiencing every second forever. Every moment for good. Always. Now, it's crazy. It's wild. It's big. But when a person is focusing on his own inside and he's reaching his soul he becomes to be who that Hashem wants him to be he is getting into that um, tunnel and he starts seeing the light he starts experiencing the worlds and that's how uh, many righteous people and um, we have many stories on big righteous people that they had divine spirit, they, that they had the ability um, to know what's going on in other places, in other lands, in other cities, in other houses, in the thoughts, in the mind, in the heart of another person. They had an inner access to places that were sealed and blocked and covered from regular people with regular human eyes. And that's the secret of the world, of the creator of the world, that he's creating the world. He is in the same place and in the same time with everyone in every second in second. Now, 
The main thing is what are we doing with this message. So I have much much more to say and to tell you and I'm about to do that. But as for now, I'm just going to be a little bit happier that I was able to explain to you that small detail as well. And I'm going to run with my amazing branches. Or Abraham and Shalom Ephraim, the sweet ones. We're going to go back home. Um, to work on our happiness as a family and the Muna project the Muna family is greeting you and blessing you with a happy weekend a wonderful uplifting Shabbat satisfaction and that all of your prayers and requests will be answered Amen